dude. So let's talk about liquidity providing. So on Sunday Swap, there is the ability to farm for certain token pairs to actually earn Sunday tokens for providing liquidity. Uh, what are those token pairs? And also, what is liquidity providing and farming? Sure, sure. So um, I'll explain from the very basics in case uh, That's what I love. Perfect. It's kind of new to, to DeFi. Um, in a normal market, when you swap, you're swapping with, or when you kind of buy a token, you're, you're buying that token from someone. Um, so if I go and buy, um, you know, uh, I exchange my USD for euros, then um, I am going to be uh, swapping against somebody else who is on the counterparty to that trade. Um, sometimes this is another retail trader like myself, like somebody in the community, but more often than not, it's the exchange themselves being a market maker and basically saying, you know, to keep the market moving will be on either side of the trade. Um, what a DEX is, is it brings that role into the hands of the, the user is by being a liquidity provider, you're saying, I'm willing to be on either side of the trade, right? I have both assets. I think that they're, you know, the price relative to each other is not going anywhere. And so um, I'm going to provide that up so that people can kind of serve this useful utility of swapping back and forth um, and collect a small transaction fee on each one to kind of compensate me for renting access to these assets, basically. Um, I should probably also add the disclaimer that I'm talking about all the mechanics of this, not necessarily, you know, none of this constitutes financial advice or, or what you should do or what you shouldn't do or anything like that. That's up to you to decide. Um, I can just talk about the mechanics and like what the outcomes uh, could be. So with that disclaimer out of the way. So by being a liquidity provider, right, this is, this is something that is not usually open to the everyman, right? It's usually big hedge funds and big exchanges and things like that. And so it comes with concepts that are like new to us, right? And, and can be complicated. And one of those is impermanent loss. Um, and so it's really important to know as you provide liquidity, yes, you're earning these fees from every trade, but you're also exposing yourself to um, missing out on opportunities for bigger gains elsewhere. Um, specifically, because you're agreeing to sell either asset, if one of them starts becoming more and more valuable, well, you've agreed to sell your more valuable asset. And so um, you, at the end, you end up with more of your less valuable asset and less of your more valuable asset. And so like overall your your value hasn't changed a lot, but your the value compared to what you could have had if it was just sitting in a wallet can change significantly. Um, and so that's called the impermanent loss. I don't wholly like that term because it's um, you know, if you sold Tesla stock and then it skyrocketed, you wouldn't call that a loss. You would call that like a missed opportunity, right? Um, and so in Impermanent loss is really about the opportunity you miss because you sold some of the assets, right? And you allowed that, the market to continue. Um, to offset that and to kind of incentivize people to provide liquidity so that the market has this utility that it greatly needs in order for a stable and predictable price, um, DEXs implement something called yield farming. And this is a wide variety of solutions um, that can take a number of different forms. Uh, the one that we're taking is one that many DEXs take, which is if you lock up your liquidity and you agree and keep it there for 30 days, then at the end of that, you get some extra Sunday as a reward. Um, and so we're giving out uh, 90 million uh, tokens, Sunday tokens, over the course of six months. That's a daily emission rate of 500,000 tokens per day. Um, so if you, uh, that will be split across pools. We'll release more details about how exactly that happens um, in the coming days. Um, but that's that's yield farming. So if you are a liquidity provider, to kind of make up for this fact that uh, you may be exposed to missing out on uh, you know huge swings on the token that you held, we provide um, Sunday as, as an incentive to provide that liquidity. 